John Smith. He met with the League of Women Voters today to talk about several issues, one of those being the growing issue of human trafficking in Amarillo. He says the problem is bigger than residents think and citizens can combat the issue. ABC 7's Natalie Grand is in the studio with the story. Natalie? Yeah, Lisa and Larry, it could be happening right next door to your home and you may not even know it. Human trafficking was one of the main topics Representative Smithy spoke to the Women's League of Voters about and he says they've tried to pass every law they can to stop the problem but he and local agencies say the first step to fix the problem is to be aware it's happening. It's one of those things that's invisible to most people, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. Legislators say it's a major issue and it's happening right here in our own backyard. We know that, that human trafficking has spilled over, so it, it's present in Amarillo. Representative John Smithy spoke to the League of Women Voters on Wednesday about human trafficking in Amarillo. He says, unfortunately, there is a demand for it. Anytime you have sexually oriented businesses, you're going to more than likely see some element of human trafficking. He also adds that Houston is one of the biggest human trafficking centers in the world and that that's contributing to the issue reaching the panhandle. Some of those victims were children. Brandy Reed with Family Support Services says last year they identified seven human trafficking victims in Amarillo. She works with several different types of domestic violence and trauma victims and that within that they have found trafficking victims. She also adds that Amarillo's drug issue is contributing to the problem. Where there's drugs, there's going to be sex trafficking. But Reed says the first step to helping fix that problem is being aware there is one. We have to come together first to one, show that there's a need, two, show there's a gap in services, and then also start creating those processes that really do create those partnerships that are victim-centered, that allow victims to feel the safety to come forward and speak out. Smithy says as far as legislation, they've exhausted every law they can pass. He says law enforcement has dedicated sources for this and that citizens should report any suspicious violations to help stop this problem. And along with human trafficking, Representative Smithy also spoke about payday and auto loans at the meeting. From the Kennedy Broadcast Center, Natalie Granda, ABC 7 News.